But um, yeah, this is going to be a very, <laughs> very significant okay, weird me... album. This is going to be like very, like very, like out of your, I guess, taste. Out of my taste. Well, okay. it, I, I, you, I don't think you listen to this kind of music a whole bunch. I mean, okay, wait, go back to their discography. What I feel mean? like I listen to, like their full, full discography. I feel like you had a poster. Yeah, yeah, this. Yeah, th this I one? have a poster, yeah. I have oh, a poster. Songs? Yeah, I don't I don't remember. Most yeah, of you, don't, you don't. I don't think I ever did. No. no. Never. Nope. Okay. Never listened to them. Okay. okay. You have. I'm well, not going, I don't think I'm going to even explain to you what it is. I'm just going to. Let me see if I can. Oh, I would. Yeah, it 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 will it will show whenever it plays. But um, okay. Yeah, we're gonna just go into this blind. You don't. I I probably played a song or whatever or two in front of you, but um. I, I'll, I'll this this for me is like a nine out of ten album for me. Nine out of ten. Yeah, this is like an incredible album. Okay. Um, but um, yeah. Okay, here, hover around. Yeah. To... Can you hear it? Huh? No. Can you hear it? Yeah. Okay. Let me just go back over here. I fought a raging arm. We can take this slow. Hesitation tied to have it never made the call. No bridge to break my fall. I have so much to tell you, but I drink till I can't blink. And I fill my brain with holes. My voice is worse for wear. Because I lost my self-control. I've lost my heart. So focused on the lyrics, huh? Yeah. That the lyrics are drawing me in. Yeah, this is a very huge like lyric band. Oh, sorry. It's pretty good. I need to turn this shit off in my end.
<laughs> That's flat speed. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna be talking a lot, like, at all. I'm gonna be. I, I understand my why. Yeah. This is where the pit is doing right now. <laughs> yeah. They're circling, bro. Ugh. Oh, that's heavy. That was awesome. Put my hair back. Here's getting my way. The bass is so dark too. Grunge. I'm sure you're like in frame. What? I'm sure you're in frame. Oh, okay. No, you're fine. It's just so heavy, dude. That is awesome! <laughs> yeah, the, the <laughs> weird guitar sounds or whatever. Oh yeah. Yeah.
was expect expect some more uh ex expect some more insane guitar stuff oh wait. this is just kind of getting into it I like that riff. This opening riff, that's really good. cool that is awesome yeah, yeah yeah that is that is freaking crazy yeah we're are yeah it's um yeah those are yeah those are like awesome the thing about this album is that there's just non-stop bangers and the tracks are very perfectly placed and um mm -hmm. i don't know this album has like a very good flow to it yeah with like heaviness or whatever mm -hmm. um the reason why i'm doing this album is because I think someone someone was asking for me to do some kind of like in depth review of it, yeah, or whatever. So like, never there, um, is just like a very good opening track. I really really enjoyed it. It's uh -huh. it's, it's very nice. Um, yeah, there's nothing really much to say about it. But um, a flag to wave. A lot of a lot of these songs, most of these songs, I really really uh relate to or mm -hmm. lyrics mean a lot to me the only songs that don't really mean that much is probably monsters kill the egg and let me leave because mm -hmm. well i think those kind of deal with like relationship mm -hmm. type stuff yeah. but um yeah i flagged the wave whenever i started um whenever silent planet absolutely like influenced my views on a lot of different things um mm -hmm. this kind of this song kind of made me not feel like so alone in some way mm -hmm. where um 
where it's kind of like the perspective this song kind of, it, it kind of talks about how how the they will raise your flag i guess mm -hmm. for you so you can speak up so yeah. you can talk about your views and stuff like that mm -hmm. and that's kind of like the basic gist of like why i like that song yeah and poverty of self as i've gone through a lot of like different studies of like I don't know capitalism, socialism, and all that yeah. stuff or whatever psychology stuff. Well, it, well, psychology, <laughs> philosophy, and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, I I kind of resonate with this song quite a bit. Yeah, um, it, it, that's what's really catching me. It's just like that's why I'm not like grooving as much. I'm more like focused on like the, the lyrics. lyrics. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. But like the the music, I I think there's gonna be times in this. Uh, album where like the mu the instrumentals like absolutely fucking mm. hits you but um yeah which song are we on we're right on now? no 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 we're on kill the ache oh, okay really? here yeah. um can you hear it yeah okay good i'm good Yeah, these are kind of like more slower paced songs yeah. in a way. The real the lyrics are really speaking. Yeah. You're you've been in a relationship. Oh yeah. Forever, so yeah, I haven't been in one so <laughs> luckily. Yeah, don't be in a relationship. <laughs> Just kidding. Like yeah. Things happen for us. That is a really deep song. That is really, really eye-opening. That's awesome. 
And already, like that's a perfect that song is a perfect transition to this one. Huh? Like I, I was talking about like how the the last song was a perfect transition to this one. Yeah. Like lyrically. Like I like the different um, um, Oh, that is nice. Yeah, that's like insane chugs. It's, um, oh yeah. Chris Wiseman is the guitarist, is like the main uh, songwriter for this band. And what is it? Chris Wiseman, that's yeah. the that's the name of the uh, the guitarist. Okay. And he's like an insane guitarist, man. Yeah. Insane Sing uh, lyricist too. Well, no, no, no. Well, this, I thought he. Oh, no, thought guitarist. He guitarist. Just guitarist. Just guitarist. Yeah, he writes the instrumentals. Uh, oh God, dude, this. From here, to the end of the album. Yeah. It's insane. I like the electro. Huh? The electro? Yeah, the electro. Oh, yeah. 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 Ooh. 
Are those like electronic drums? Huh? Are those electronic drums? I think they are. That's cool. That I think cool. I think all the drums are programmed. I think. I you could think? be wrong. I could be wrong. You know what's coming. What? Now I'm talking to the people watching. Oh, is it doing the stupid thing again? Yeah, it's doing Oh my gosh, okay. Uh, here. You kind of miss here. Do you hear it? Yeah, I just keep on letting it play. Huh? Just let it play. Okay, yeah. Yeah. We're doing using a weird way so we can both hear yeah. the song. Okay.
did that as nice. Is this shit doing it again? Yeah. Okay. Second set. Oh, sorry. Here. Um. Wait. No. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Here. Um. Yeah. Here. Just pause it real quick. Sorry. Um. Yeah. This song right here. Um. Okay. Well. I don't know. Like I, I guess I'll explain these t these two songs or whatever. Okay. This song right here, there's nothing really particularly about all, all of, most of the song. Okay. Most of the song, like the lyrics that I really, really like resonate with personally. Yeah. But um, there was a point in time where I was take I take walks like reflect or whatever. Yeah. And I was feeling very pissed about the world at that <clears> time. <throat> <laughs> And like for me, like seeing what like what's happening around the world, it can tire you or whatever and shit like that. Oh, yeah. But this part, like right, um, this part here or whatever, yeah. like this, this like breakdown and mm -hmm. uh or build up, and then it goes into, I curse this earth for my soul is tired. Yeah. Like that that part <laughs> or whatever is like very very um that that's deep. It seems it seems really deep. Also, what uh. Like, I feel like that is, like, a reference to the Bible. I don't want to get religious, but I feel like that's a reference to something Jesus said. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I would say that. I don't know. I'm not totally sure. I don't know. And I'll not believe. Oh. Here, let me click on that. Wait. Oh, here. You have to. Jesus. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, we I don't guess... usually get into, like, lyrics and stuff. I just listen to stuff, but. Yeah that's the song is really cool yeah and like i that's a i feel like that's a clear reference to the last song because the last song what was the name of yeah, it yeah stop the ache yeah. yeah stop the ache yeah yeah it like throughout this transition. song what throughout this song there is like hidden meanings of certain things like for example in this song i just realized this uh out of nowhere where is it um oh uh, where is it shit um it says with uh withered or something yeah. here somewhere around here or is it which song is it is it it's probably this song wait um oh uh, where i'm dumb i can't find it Oh, withers. Oh, okay. Yeah, withers. I wonder if that's a reference to. It's a reference. It's probably. In, I I don't know. I'm not totally sure. It could be a reference to the song "Withered" by them in this hmm. or whatever. Yeah, and like they're trying, they're yeah. cultivating all their albums together to make one. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. The funny thing is, is that in this EP and this song "Forever Marked." Yeah. It go. It, last part is. Um, is this the way it ends? And then their album cover. Yeah, is. and then their album. Wow, name is the way way it ends. Yeah, conspiracy theory. <laughs> conspiracy. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's a lot of very cool like trace backs to certain songs and yeah. stuff like that. Like I would, for example, I would have to look into that. Yeah, like for example, like Better Day or um Monster Monsters. Yeah. Um. Uh, where is it? Um. God. Uh, better fucked out of better days. What's the last song? Better days. Huh. Yeah. It, there's like it's yeah. There's well, a lot of like repetition. <laughs> yeah. It's re repetition of like certain lyrics, but um. That's cool. Yeah. So, okay. Here. Yeah. Oh, also, I totally forgot. Split. I literally see myself in the mirror in this song, like like trying trying to navigate through the uh, world. Yeah. And stuff like that, losing hope or whatever, uh -huh. and stuff. And then the last part, like this is like the. I think this is a song that I use whenever I get to the point where I don't give a fuck about the world or whatever. Yeah. Because I don't want to fight it anymore. Yeah. But then, but then the song. But I'm not done fighting in the world I'm in. Just it's hard to see compassion through the red, through the or hard to see compassion through the red. Bitter mm -hmm. hate has taken center stage again. But I'm not done fighting in the world I'm in. Yeah, through the yeah. red. I wonder what they're talking about through the red. Well, it's just it's kind of like any like problem or any like um. 
yeah. consequence or it could be it could be anything for other people i don't know i i think they may be talking i'm pretty sure they're talking about the world or whatever okay. in general but um yeah anyways that's cool God. but um yeah we don't here we don't really stop songs very often yeah um it's okay though yeah i'm a special guest so we can yeah it's all right Yeah, you know, I don't. I don't know if I would go like a full in depth review. I don't know. This song is a banger. It's not done yet. Drummer, dude. Those, those, um, the rhythm he was playing, those are called hurt us. Yeah. I yeah. can't do it right. I By can't. the way, yeah, these last two songs are probably one of the most, like, uh, um, personal songs or whatever. To you? I've, yeah, to me, yeah. personally. But that drummer, he's nuts. Yeah, the drummer is insane. Yeah. Those hurt those. My, my drummers out there would know. Like, those hurt those, those were clean.
That's deep. Huh? I said I said that's deep, those lyrics are deep. Yeah, that's Here, you can go ahead and pause it. Pause it. Here, I was just going to explain yeah. that these two songs are like, I, I can't tell you how much they mean to me. Mm -hmm. That Like, um, this song is basically a summarization of my, of my uh, fall semester uh, last year. Mm -hmm. There was, whenever you get into like philosophy or psychology and stuff like that and you start looking inwards in yourself at times it seems i don't know some um i don't know at times you feel like a lot of things are like meaningless at times yeah and um one thing about psychology that you will realize is that people make very broad assumptions about certain things and my mind my mind absolutely like i, I don't want to say de get destroyed but worked started working in a way different way whenever I realized that, that a lot of human behavior is assumptions in some ways. Like, for example, like categorizing certain things mm -hmm. like, um, like chairs or whatever. Yeah. Generally, do they need to have like four legs? Do they need to have three legs to be considered a chair? Is it weird? Do you get what I'm saying? I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, like, like there's a lot of like weird things that we categorize and we make generalizations of okay. like the world. Do you understand what I mean? Okay. So like yeah. here, um, like I guess this is kind of like getting into the edge of like controversial or okay. whatever. But like when it comes when whenever someone says like a female, do you does a female absolutely need um long hair? Uh, yeah, the like for it to be considered a female, does it need to ha have like X Y or was it XX chromosomes? Do you mm -hmm. need a female to have a working reproductive, um, Just sexual like... organ or whatever mm -hmm. and stuff like that? And whenever you get into questions where like people, people actually have like certain things that generally a female doesn't have, you get into some very weird territory where. You don't know what anything is anymore. And for some people who aren't like into like psych or philosophy, mm -hmm. I probably sound very fucking dumb or whatever. Because like people just like kind of like assume these things or whatever being yeah. like this is what it is and this is absolutely it, but not really looking behind like of why, like the why of, exactly yeah, why exactly. they feel the same why they feel Yeah, like that's what I've been noticing too. Like, like do you know like the whole like thing is a hot dog a sandwich? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Like that it, it, that it, is it, something like you're so, so fucking okay. loud. So fucking loud. 
people are asleep. Yeah, it's it's two a.m. right now. And... Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are. But um, way past yeah. my bedtime. Yeah, but like <laughs> like whenever you hear people say a hot dog is sand is a sandwich, does a, does a sandwich really need two um two pieces of bread to be considered a sandwich? and stuff like that or it, it's yeah it, i mean it's, if we it's, really it's, want to get into that like yeah it's like a language uh, game but like anyways anyways yeah. anyways it's kind of getting off track it's yeah. just like things kind of get very weird and very meaningless and whenever you see people bend psychology in their own will or not psychology philosophy in their own will mm-hmm. to like confuse people and stuff like that and it just like it kind of makes everything kind of meaningless and then i kind of got into like a whole like road with with like christianity and stuff like that and mm-hmm. trying to figure out where's my place do i believe in god and all this kind of yeah. stuff and really thinking about like my moral systems and stuff like that and re- looking inward yeah. and whenever you look inward at times you just kind of get lost in yourself because those questions have yeah questions within themselves yeah. and then it just creates yeah it's it, yeah it's just it's, yeah. there's a question upon a question you would have an answer and then another question you would have or whatever oh, yeah. why is it this and i got so deep to my like get like, so deep into this stuff to the point where like i wasn't able i had like anxiety i was very you depressed were, you yeah. weren't able to yeah i wasn't that. able to function like a normal human fucking being <laughs> <laughs> essentially last semester i mean i get i guess that's something for huh? like all people to figure out with themselves you know yeah like, well yeah. figure out some way but like some people are just straight to the point like you know yeah. well it's just like yeah. an apple's an apple that's it like there's yeah. no they they don't care about the whys they yeah but they don't yeah. take things in consideration yeah but that's okay Oh uh, yeah. yeah, I guess I it's mean, fine. It's just I I think whenever people it gets into the whole thing whenever people have like strong opinions about things but they don't know it. Yeah. Because they're like political commentator or oh yeah, and they it, it. they just believe yeah what they they, believe. they just believe what they believe and there's like no like question why that they believe it is because no, no factual evidence yeah, there's, whatsoever. Yeah. It's just it's one of those things and every every so often whenever you see people around you doing that kind of stuff it, it kind of leaves you hopeless hopeless and like like the whole thing that i explained i'm not able to like explain that to like everyday people really because like it's different it'll be well, different it, well it's it's different for everyone but it's just i i um what mm. is it like people like for a lot of christians i wouldn't be able to talk about theology about certain like certain theology stuff because i would have to like talk about like axioms or whatever you don't even know like no i don't even know what that is you don't even know like religious axioms and like there's a lot of like terminology that i use to like try to explain what i believe or whatever Mm. and it's same thing for like other people if it's when it comes to psychology or philosophy Mm. there's not a lot of people that are into those into those like areas really but But that's um, really cool like i mean sometimes like you like that's how some answers are questioned i mean that's i mean that's how that's some how, questions yeah. are answered yeah. sorry answers come before questions yeah everyone. i know i know but um yeah and i i don't know just losing hope over humanity and all that and i went i got to a point where you know what fuck this i i will go to a therapist or whatever and the crazy fucking thing is yeah. that that therapist like knew pretty much like all the terminology that i was thinking of or the only way i can explain mm-hmm. myself and made me like question a lot of different things but i uh, ended up being okay after that semester mm-hmm. uh my grades were decent and then this semester things didn't get much better but mm-hmm. i have a direction now in yeah. which kind of what better days is kind of about but it's a mm-hmm. fucking insane song so oh, i'm ready um here Go on Discord. There we go. Um, Do you hear it? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, we're in sync. It's okay. It's fine. I feel like the song sounds familiar. Huh? I feel like the song sounds familiar. I probably played this song. But... It's okay. Yeah, I don't remember what he plays. Oh 
Deutschland. That is... Wow, that is deep lyrics. Oh, that string scrapes. Those are awesome, dude. That is a awesome album. Yeah, it's that a, is the like that spoke to me lyrically. Yeah, in a very deep way. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But, this is yeah. This, whenever I first listened to the album, I I thought the instru all I care about is like all I cared about at that time was like the instrumentals, which are good. I really really. Oh yeah, the instrumentals like are very good. Yeah, are very very fucking good. But um, over time, the lyrics, like, a song at t at a time would, like, grow on me or whatever oh, yeah. and stuff like that and hit, hit with a uh, hit me in a way. But, um, yeah. I, I give it, I give it a nine. Give it a nine? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's uh, very lyric heavy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I definitely liked it, um, uh. Like I definitely like it lyrically, and um, instrumentally, like it it was very good. It was very good, but I mean, uh, the reason why it's a nine, it's because it's just lyric heavy. Yeah, you know, not it's not a bad thing. It's just like yeah, it's, it's, you're not saying it's bad no. or anything like that. Um, it's just, it's just very lyric, lyrical heavy. Yeah, but it's it's telling a story, too. Yeah, so. kinda. I guess so. 
It's, it's kind of I, I don't know if I would say story. No, no. Oh but yeah, yeah. It's sorry, kind not of going. Story. It's kind of going around like different. I don't know feelings or certain uh, like mental um, states. Yeah, that people have or certain uh, problems or people stuff like them. that. Like yeah. um the re ones about relationships. Um, I guess yeah, it was, probably like, kill the egg or one. let uh let me leave. Monsters is kind of kind of that, but um, yeah. yeah. That that really like because even though I'm. 18 and i've yeah. been through stupid relationships <laughs> like it it, ma it made sense mm -hmm. it like it, it bring it brings back but i mean the, the i was also like stupid so yeah 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 <laughs> it may but uh, that is awesome yeah it's a it's a very very a good album i would say like whenever i first listened to it i think i i don't know i don't like rating albums in 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10, 8 out of 10, because, I don't know, I feel like whenever we put a number to, like, subjective things, um, mm -hmm. I feel like we would, uh, I don't know, it leads people to want, wanting to stick that number or whatever, and I feel like over time mm -hmm. it would get, like, very confusing. So, like, yeah. I, if, if I like it, I like it. If I don't like it, I don't like it. If I'm iffy about it, I'm iffy about it. I don't really like putting a number to it. I guess it depends on... Um, I guess the scale as like everyone a lot of people hate anthony fantano and there's some music there's some stuff that mm -hmm. he reviewed where i really disagree but i feel like his like rating system do you know what like his rating system is anthony it's fantano. like it's like one to ten or yeah. whatever but like like let's say like in um is it like different categories like lyrics yeah. instrumental well, no 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 he doesn't really well he just kind of takes it all or whatever and he says like one is like very very bad and then mm -hmm. five is like there there's something in it there's something here or whatever and then 10 is like the best or whatever and there's like i don't know there's like a whole video of him like talking about scale and i really like his scale and how he did those things does things but um i don't like um yeah putting numbers or scores of it the numbers i say is just like are all my opinion so yeah. like you could like I could say this is trash and you can like say what you want about it. But like, if I see something as trash, that's just literally my opinion. Yeah. Cause like I'm reviewing it mm -hmm. and I mean, so if when I review it, I'm going to give my honest opinion about yeah. it and like exactly as you, how you said, like if it's bad, it's bad. If, if it's yeah. good as good, you know. But uh, but the thing is, is that like something you kind of learn, is that um I I learned this over time. Mm -hmm. I never like shit on people for uh, music opinions or anything like that. Really, mm -hmm. not that, that much. At least like I don't talk about it in videos and stuff, mm -hmm. or I don't say anything in videos. I don't really talk trash about people's. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't really talk about people's music tastes or whatever yeah. so much. Like you can like what you like, but whenever you like force your music taste on other people, oh yeah, and um, yeah, you treat music as like this objective thing that it, like, you're yeah. objectively wrong or mm -hmm. right and stuff like that. I, I think mean, so, you sure strange. you can like be funny and like make and like joke around like yeah, like, you can. Like yeah, oh, yeah. you like Miley Cyrus? Oh wow, you're this like you're that like yeah. I don't know. But uh -huh. like, you know, you got to respect with what people like yeah. and like, sure, you may not like it. And yeah. like, I, I listened to some pop today and I mean, and then one of my friends wanted to listen to something else. And I mean, I didn't really like it. It was rap. Yeah. Like tired of it. I, I, I'm so tired with rap. Yeah. Um, yeah. But that doesn't mean it's bad. Absolutely not. Yeah. Like it is a great all genres are great, no matter what. Yeah. Like from freaking classical all the way to like black metal. Oh black I don't like black metal I like at all. I'm, I mean uh, I, I, uh, I is I don't it like is that. it too heavy for us? Well it's it's not that it's heavy, it's very I don't know, for me it's kind of boring. What what do you know any black metal? I've all of the black I don't know any bands really. I know there's like Sun Sun O bra uh, backwards bracket band. Oh, uh, backwards bracket backwards. Yeah, bracket. the CBT, but that's Stevie T. Yeah, that's like the only <laughs> black metal band I've Me heard of. But um, I'm too into like grooves and um, 
yeah. uh, innovative stuff and yeah i don't know mm-hmm. like my like when it comes to metal music my music taste is kind of like oh, yeah. all over the place but Here, um, here's a funny song oh my god we're not going to play songs bro okay we're not going to play songs why <laughs> well because a uh, copyright or whatever oh yeah right yeah, well sorry. i'm i'm getting copyright right here but i i can send this to sharp town so uh yeah, to get it off possibly I don't please, please I don't, don't really copyright care. him I, well, it's just that's how it works, or whatever. But um, yeah. Okay. Well. But um, yeah. That I think that's pretty much it. Okay. Yeah. That is it. Well, Bye. thank you for having me on the show. Oh my gosh.